Hey everyone, uh, this is just a short walkthrough on how you go about uh, using the export hist time format uh, command that I ask you to write or to use on all of your guided exercises and your review labs. This is something that is outside of the instructions that you use for your regular labs, uh, but it is something that I use to help determine if you're having troubles or difficulties. Uh, if it takes you a long time to enter a command that tells me you don't know off the top of your head what command to use. You're maybe going back and rereading instructions or, or showing the uh, show solution button or something along those lines. So let me just show you what happens when I type the history command. When you type history it will give you a list of all the commands you've used uh, as this user on this machine. Okay, And so you can see here I've actually run uh, 53 commands as this user called test on the machine called Galago, right? But there is no time or date stamp at this time, right? So what we can do is we can modify uh, the time formatting or the format of how our history uh, list is presented by using the export command. Okay, and we're going to be changing a system variable called HIST TIMF O for mat. Oops, for mat. All right, so it has to be capitalized. In Linux, commands and variables are, and file names are case sensitive, right? So a capital H is different from a lowercase h. All right, and we are going to immediately follow that with the equal sign. Do not put a space between the T and the equal sign. A space has a special meaning in Linux, and essentially it's separating words from values. So uh, if you're wanting to join a value with a variable, um, you need to make sure that there are no spaces here. All right, next we're going to add some specific formatting features that we want to use. In the uh, instructions, I ask you to use the formatting type percent %f, and a space, and then a percent %t, and then a space. Uh, the space here is just to give you a space between the end of the timing format and the actual command uh, that is actually going to be shown in the history file. I'll show you where you can see what these uh, symbols mean or how, what these options mean in uh, just a second. But uh, for now we're just going to export our hist time format to change it from what it currently is, which is just the, the, hist, the command that you ran in uh, what command, where, where that command is, it command is in your command history. So let's hit enter. Now when we type history again, again now you're going to see the exact same uh, history with the new ones that we've entered, but now it actually has a date and it actually has a time. You can see here uh, this command was run at uh, noon 1 minute and 11 seconds, and then CD was run uh, at noon at 2 minutes past noon at 39 seconds, and this command was run at noon and 5 minutes and 55 seconds. So I'm asking you to do that for each one of your users on each machine, right? So if I were to actually uh, open up another terminal and switch to the test user again and then put in my password right if I were to type history right notice the time and date stamp has gone away right that's because this is a new terminal it does not things that you have that happen in one terminal do not get carried over to the next they're completely independent uh, procedures or sessions or processes so if you were to change machines, if you were to change users, if you were to change users on different machines, you would need to use this export his time format instruction each and every time. All right, so sometimes you're going to be doing labs where you're admin one, or you are a root user, or you are uh, some uh, special user that is unique to the lab and you're going to switch to that user's uh, profile so you will need to run this export command each and every time that you change machines and change users okay so that's essentially how it's done hopefully that was helpful